Cher tweeted, what's going on with my career? It doesn't matter, Cher, you're still iconic. Leave it, <laughs> leave it alone. I still love you no matter what you do. Do you believe in love after love after love after love? I can feel something inside me sad. I really don't think I'm strong enough, no. Love it. It's gonna be stuck in my head all day and yours. You're welcome. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I have a big zit. I have a big zit. Nobody look at my really big zit, but there it is. Half the people are like, where? Well, I did a very good job of covering it. Thank you very much. Shut up. Quiet, computer. Can't you see I am filming? All right guys, today on my channel, we are looking at some celebrity tweets that were deleted that you were never meant to see for whatever reason. I don't know why, but maybe that reason will become apparent once we see those tweets. That's the thing about tweeting. It's on the internet forever. People will get screenshots. And then we will laugh about them in a Charlotte Dobre video. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good evil laugh. I like it. And that moment you release your boobies from bra jail. Why did you delete that, Tyra? That's hilarious. That's funny. That's the kind of <laughs> shit I want to see on social media. For those men in the comments who don't understand this, releasing your boobies from bra jail is taking off your bra at the end of a long day. There's nothing like it. Nothing like that feeling, honey. I don't know why you deleted that. If you had the chance to time travel, where would you go? I would go to Paris, 1940s. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> That's uh, that was like smack dab in the middle of like World War One, and the Germans were. That was when the Germans were like kind of winning. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's not a good idea. Something tells me she got swift backlash for that. Since we spilling tea at Beyonce, I, your husband, boom. <gasps> Stop. Stop it. Stop it right now. Rihanna! Riri! That's too much! That's too much tea to spill! <laughs> Holy moly! That's a lot. I kind of want to know what happened. Spilling tea Beyonce. I <laughs> your husband. <laughs> I'm looking into this. Drake Bell, blah, 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 blah. According to The Richest, rumors of a feud between Beyonce and Rihanna have been stirring for years, supposedly feuding over Jay-Z's friendship with Rihanna. This time last year, Beyonce was overheard shouting at Jay-Z in a sushi restaurant in LA saying, that bitch <laughs> Rihanna. A few months prior, Beyonce singer Solange infamously attacked Jay-Z in an elevator, which was rumored to have been about his relationship with Rihanna. The feud reached an all-time low when Rihanna tweeted, since we spilling tea at Beyonce, I after your husband, boom. It was later deleted, but not before it made its rounds on every celebrity entertainment site. Talk about low blows. Yeah, that's uh, always wondered why they're not BFF. Takes two to tango though. She's still with Jay-Z, so. I just used a Sharpie as eyeliner in the airplane bathroom. Why'd you delete that? That's funny. That's really funny. I like that. That makes Taylor Swift far more human and less goddess. More of that, please. Haley Baldwin tweeted, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream, hashtag word. Oh, that was in September, 2011. So before her, before, before, before her and Bieber. This was before Haley and Bieber had gotten together. Yeah, I can see why you would delete that. I can see that. What if we spelled people like this? People. <laughs> that would be funny, I think. Yes, it would, Kim Kardashian. I would agree. <laughs> P people. Depends on how you read it. It could be pee pole or pee like pee on a pole or or a or peep ol. <laughs> I like it. It's fine. It's fine. Leave it up. Dear elderly man at the gym, it's hard for me to keep composure whilst punching a chipmunk seed when your ball sack spills out of your wind shorts. <laughs> well, Jessica, Jessica, how was the view? Sounds like it wasn't very nice. I hate ball sack. I hate balls. They're so weird. <laughs> balls are so weird. You will never change my mind. I specifically ordered Persian rugs with cherub imagery. What do I have to do to get a simple Persian rug with cherub imagery? Arr! The privilege, the privilege out here, Kanye West. Hey, the man wants his rugs done the right way. Can you blame him? Is that why you went bankrupt? 
Persian rugs with sh with cherubs. How do I say that? Cherub, cherub, cherub. A true friend walks in when everybody else walks out. A true friend doesn't rub it in when you make a mistake. They rub it out. <laughs> I don't, it depends on what kind of friends you got. I'm just saying. I don't know, I, I don't rub it out. <laughs> and I'm a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> when the cop asked me to take the sobriety test, I said, why waste our time? I'm drunk, man. Hashtag true story. <laughs> Were you driving, Kevin? I just had the thrill of a lifetime. Saw the clock change from 1.59 a.m. to 1 o'clock a.m. I love clocks. <laughs> no way Larry King tweeted that. That's like automatic daylight savings time that's that's on your clock. Anybody else find it annoying that like when you have an analog clock and it's daylight savings and, and you gotta change the clock and, but you can't figure it out like on my stove? My clock is still one hour off because we just had daylight savings. And for some reason I can't figure out how to change it. Only men can figure it out. Only men. So I usually just leave it. I leave it there and then, and then when a man comes into my life, I ask him to change it. Just me? Daylight savings is stupid. Stupid, stupid. I hate when I'm on a flight and I wake up with a water bottle next to me like, oh great, now I gotta be responsible for this water bottle. Again with the privilege, Kanye. <laughs> you drink the water bottle. You don't have to be responsible for it. Just leave it there. If you're not gonna open it, I'm sure they'll give it to the next person. No, they probably won't. It's probably first class. Let's be realistic. I hate how I'm responsible for this free sh <laughs> My grandma pregnant again, trying to talk her out of keeping it. <laughs> what? Ah! Ah! Fitty. Fitty coming in with the fire tweets. Why you delete that? You're the queen. You're the king. Wait. You're the king of talking. <laughs> Leave it up. Why are you embarrassed about that? Did Pete, did, did the pro-lifers come to you with, with anger? I probably, they probably did. Realistically. Just like they're going to come for me in the comments. <laughs> TGIF. Thank God I'm Fergie. I mean, it's not that serious. You didn't have to delete that, Fergie. It's a bit lame, <laughs> but it's not like a... Uh, maybe she was like tweeting it and she's like, TGIF, thank God I'm Fergie. <laughs> oh wait, that's stupid. No, no, no. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Wait, babe, is this stupid? Yes. Okay, I'll delete it. I just sharted myself. That's when you fart and you <laughs> yourself on accident. Thank you, Kris Jenner. Thank you for that. Me too. Same. Same. Same here. <laughs> Martha Stewart. Oil. Oil? What about it? What you tweeting oil for? Is this like, this is cryptic. Just oil. Oil. <laughs> and that's it. It's Jet My Onion. Okay, you bastards. I don't get it. I don't understand. Cannot compute. Jonah Hill. I said hi. What do you want me to do? Move in with you? I was in a hurry. Didn't realize you were a 12 year old girl. Peace. Oh. Was this like a. Oh. He like said hi to him on the street and then. And then. Didn't. Was, was rude to him perhaps? I mean, I see the reason. Yeah, I see the reasoning behind. Didn't realize you were a 12 year old girl. Mm, pansy. Mm, when are you gay? I think we've moved past that. I think we've moved past those insults. What are you gay? Are you a gay? No, but that's not like an insult. <laughs> Thanks though. Rocks, paper, seesaw. <laughs> Rocks, paper, seesaw. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I like that. Seesaw. Seesaw. <laughs> where are the seesaws? Mommy, where are the teethers? I need the teethers. If everybody in the world dropped out of school, we would have a much more intelligent society. You think? I wouldn't agree with you, Jaden. I feel like that's a bad idea. I wouldn't recommend that. Just my opinion. Just my personal opinion. It's official! Pregnant! All right, Lindsay. But, oh, does she... Oh. As far as I know, she doesn't have any children. That's kind of sad. Maybe she was just doing it for attention. That is honestly, uh, I wouldn't put it past Lindsay. Lindsay Lohan was known for doing like PR stunts for attention when she wasn't in the newspapers as much anymore. I'm gonna look it up. Shall we look it up for once, Charlotte? 
Don't mind me, I'm just doing research. Oh, it was April Fool's Day. I stand corrected. And I guess like UK newspapers were like, what the hell's going on? Because it was still April 1st in America when she tweeted it. Anyways, guys, I stand corrected. Lindsay Lohan wasn't pregnant. It was April Fool's. I'm watching the History Channel in the club and I'm wondering how do these people know what's going on on the sun? Ain't nobody ever been. You're watching the History Channel in the club? <laughs> There's nothing else to look at? Like, are you talking about a nightclub? That must be a pretty boring nightclub. Well, you see, they have these things. They're called telescopes. Though I would imagine it would somewhat hurt, but they can look at the sun. They can. They know what's happening. Wasn't Kevin Durant also like a flat earther? Wait, let me see. There was an NBA player, flat earther NBA. Kyrie Irving was a flat earther. Oh, you sweet soul. The more you realize that we are the same, the more we can have a conversation. Bye. So is a response to Ernest Owens who tweeted, so does this mean you're gonna stop appropriating our music and culture and apologize to Janet too? That probably sounded pretty gross. I'm gonna start an ASMR channel, guys. Sounds Charlotte's mouth makes. There are a lot. Oh yeah. I can't believe we're going to Africa today. Oh my God, what if we get Ebola? <laughs> yeah, that, he, yeah, that's a good thing he tweeted. That, he deleted that for sure. And didn't he lose his cover girl contract for tweeting that? I think he did. My thumb itches and my armpits smell like SpongeBob fever. <laughs> cool. That's cool. Can I have a sniff? <laughs> what else is happening with your body? Any bowel movements recently? I'd love to know, seeing as we're divulging information. I need a long <laughs> nap and this limo driver is making me effing sick. I just yelled at him. Oh, Erin, <laughs> should be happy you're in a limo, honey. Ugh, didn't appreciate it when he had it, you know? Always complaining. Ain't that life though. All right guys, those were some deleted celebrity tweets that you were never supposed to see. I liked it, it was fun. That was a good one. Um. Yes, Highland. Good, good, good. Subscribe!